Hello and welcome! What if I told you there is a chart that shows what serious traders actually believe, not just what they say on social media? It's called the volatility smile and it quietly prices in fear, greed and everything in between. The best part? This info is out there, free, if you know where to look. In this video I'll walk you through what these charts tell us how short-term and long-term expiries differ and what the market is really saying without saying it. And at the end, I'll show you how to get this data live from the source. Zero fluff, no paywall, just straight insight. Oh, and if you want to go even deeper into options with real strategies, Greek intuition and even Python tools, I've put together a full course, totally optional, but if you enjoy this kind of stuff, you might like that too. Link down below. All right, let's take a look at this chart. This is the implied volatility smile for Bitcoin options expiring in just two weeks. What you're seeing here is a curve that shows the implied volatility across different strike prices. So we got strike prices on the x-axis and implied volatility on the y-axis. Now, Implied volatility is basically how much the market expects the price to move, not in one direction, but just how wild it might get. And what's interesting here is the shape of this curve. You will notice that volatility is lowest right around the current price, 105,000 US dollars as we speak, called at the money. That's pretty normal. It means the market isn't expecting huge moves right around the current price. But once you start moving away, either to higher strikes or lower strikes, implied volatility jumps up fast. Now, just because implied volatility goes up, doesn't mean the option is more expensive in dollars. It just means the market sees more uncertainty at those levels. Basically, the further away from the current price you go, the more risk people are pricing in whether it's to the upside or the downside. And here's something really interesting. There aren't even any quoted options below 85k strike. No puts, no calls, nothing. That's not just a random gap. That's the market saying, we don't even think it's worth quoting protection down there. So yeah, this chart isn't just showing volatility, it's showing conviction. It's telling you where traders still see risk and where they basically don't care anymore. Now please, fasten your seatbelts as we are taking a look at the volatility smile for Bitcoin options expiring at the end of August. So this is a longer term view compared to the June chart. Just like before, we are plotting implied volatility across strike prices. But here's the first thing you'll notice. This smile is much wider and it's not symmetric. Volatility is lowest somewhere between 95 and 110k, which tells us that's where the market sees the most stability over the next few months. But the shape of the smile has a clear skew and it leans towards the downside. Implied volatility rises much more sharply for lower strikes which means traders are paying more for downside protection than for upside exposure. So unlike the short-term smile, which looked more balanced, this one has a definite tilt. The market's a little more nervous about a crash in the next two to three months than it is excited about a rally. And you will also notice something else. We are seeing strikes as low as 40k and as high as 190k quoted. So the market's open to a much wider range of outcomes here because with more time, more can happen. So what does this smile tell us? It says, traders aren't panicking, but they're building in asymmetric tail risk. They're more worried about a sharp move down than a moon shoot up. And over longer horizons, that's pretty typical, especially in uncertain macro environments. 
Last but not least, let me quickly show you how I pulled this volatility smile using Python and the Deribit API. First, I'm loading all available Bitcoin option instruments. So I'm hitting Deribit's public API and filtering only for non-expired options. Then I'm extracting all the unique expiry timestamps and I'm picking one. In this case, I'm picking element seven, which corresponds to the August expiry. So this list is sorted, meaning element zero is the closest expiry, element one, second closest expiry and so on. I will also show you that in a couple of seconds. However, element seven is just the August expiry. Next, I'm splitting those options into two groups, calls and puts, both for the selected expiry. So again, August in this case. The extract IV function or extract implied volatility function is doing the heavy lifting here. It loops over each option, pulls the latest ticker data and grabs the marked implied volatility. I'm only keeping valid values here. So no zero values or no missing data values. Once we have the implied volatilities for both calls and puts, so you see I'm calling this function both for my calls and my puts, I'm just putting them together in one data frame. And finally, I'm just plotting the data here with matplotlib and a couple of uh, design things here, which are optional. So with this, you're getting a plot like this, just a side note. So you see, we have August expiry plotted here. Side note here, you see that the charts are overlaying, which is 100% correct. I was showing it with a slight offset in the slides, just that it's more clear that this corresponds to both calls and puts. Those charts are overlaying here, which is correct. So you have the same implied volatility for calls and puts, which is essential. Otherwise you would have arbitrage opportunities. So this chart is containing both calls and puts here. Now, last but not least, let me quickly show you how this is looking for another expiry. So let's say we take element number two and probably we are landing somewhere in June again. So just execute that again and you will get a volatility smile for a June expiry. So this is in, what is that, three days and you have a similar story as in my first site here. So that's it. With this setup, you can generate your own live volatility smiles for any expiry, any asset on Deribit and adjust the view however you like. I hope you found this video as exciting, as interesting as I find this topic. In case you did, leave me a comment, drop the video a like and I appreciate you tuning in and looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Cheers. Bye bye.